Wapendo asante sana kwa sababu ya kuwaona katika nyumba ya Mungu. Bwana awabariki sana. Eroda Sami, thank you. May God bless you. Eroda Monywa, thank you. Together with my dear wife, may God bless you. The leadership of this church, I want to offer my gratitude to you because of availing yourself into prayers since we started. There are people who have never missed. I want to declare, may God Almighty bless you. Thank you as well for coming to church. Wale ambao ni wageni wamejiunga nasi siku ya leo, Bwana Mungu ababariki. Kila Jumapili tumekuwa tukiona wageni. Na brother Charles Gigi, thank you. I know you are doing a great work. Kutafuta wao, kwa encourage wao, Bwana awabariki. The Asha team of this church, may God bless you so much. El nani Asha Hilam, Asha Mama George, eh Mama Mike, Bwana awabariki. Praise team, may God bless you. Media team, thank you for the good work you are doing. By the way, actually, can you share? Before even we start hearing the word of God, can you share, like, and comment? Praise the name of Jesus. Go to your media, share. Ili tukianza kuhubili, kuna wengine kule wana tutazama. We thank God because in our media platform, we have been experiencing uh, a traffic. Amen. Those are the dreams of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whenever we see people are watching us, they are hearing the gospel. As far as where they are, we don't take it for granted. We always see those are the doings of the Lord. Baba Mike, thank you. Amen. Thank you for studying with us. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you as well for remaining truthful to the calling. I know there are many people who normally go to those countries. By the way, listen to me. Baba Mike was just telling me, Pastor, we have a country that fears the Lord. What I want to Ambao baba Mike ya nabeba kule. Eh? Wale watu ni masoga wengi. Eh? And they are not hiding. Eh? They are man to man marrying one another. Na wache ni kuambie those countries. Europe and America and Asia. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah. Can we pray for those nations? And somebody said we are going to take mission. Eh? The, call, the call is coming to Africa. We take the gospel to those countries. Hallelujah. Church are dying. You find church getting transformed to be clubu. Baba Mike can tell you. They are not fearing God. And you see even one great servant of God is saying, We introduce, we bless, same marriage, same gender. No, we cannot do that. Let me tell you the sanctity of the gospel is right now in Africa. Even yetu sa zingine Africa tunaenda biyud. Tunaanza sarakasi na vituko. Na nilisema ya kwamba this church is not for sarakasi and vituko. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Esther chapter number 5. That's where we are going to lead. We are going to jump and then we are going to hear the word of God from the same two chapters. Esther chapter number five. Have your Bible with you, have your notebook with you, and have your pen. And we say this church, we love, the, we'll be coming to church with three things. The one is a Bible. If you happen to see somebody coming to church without a Bible, maybe you're not for the altar of unity. Unity, we call it the Bible. Urinate, we call it the notebook. I have my notebook with me here. I always write. And I have my pen with me. Praise the name of Jesus. This is my pen. And I have my Bible with you. You will not be able to carry anything home. Everything home. Have your notebook. And a Bible. And a pen. Chapter number 5. Of the book of uh, Esther. The Bible says. Of that day Esther. Put on her lawyer robes. And stood in the inner court of the palace in front of the king's hall. The king was sitting on his loyal throne in the hall, facing the entrance. When he saw Queen Esther standing in the court, he was pleased with her and held out to her the gold scatter that was in his hand. So Esther approached and touched the tip of the scatter. Let's jump to verse number 7. 
Esther replied, verse number 7. Esther replied, my petition and my request is this. If the kings regard me with a favor, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, let the king and Haman come tomorrow to the banquet. I'll prepare for them. Then I'll answer the queen's question. Nine, Haman went out on that day, happy and in high spirit. When they saw Mordecai at the king's gate and observed that he neither rose nor sowed fear in his presence, he was filled with a rage against Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman restrained himself and went home. Verse number 14. His wife, verse number 14. His wife said, and all his friends stood to him. Have a poor setup, reaching to a height of 50 cubits, and ask the king if in the morning to have Mordecai impaled on it. Then go with the king to the banquet and enjoy yourself. This suggestion delighted Haman. And he had the poor set up. Chapter number 6. That night the king could not sleep. Look at this. King could not sleep. So he ordered the book of the chronicles. The book of his. The record of his lane. To be brought in and lead to him. It was found recorded. There that Mordecai had exposed. Big Dana and Teresh. Two of the king's officials. Who guarded the doorways who had conspired to assassinate King Caesar. Let's go. First number 11. So Haman got the robe and horse. He loped Mordecai and led him on the horse through the city street. Proclaimed before him. This is what it's done for the man the king delights to honor. 12. Afterward Mordecai returned to the king's gate. But Haman last home with his head covered with grief, and told, and told Celeste, his wife, and all his friends, everything that has happened. His advisors and his wife said, said to him, Since Mordecai, before whom you are down for has started, is of Jewish origin, you cannot start against him. You will surely come to reign. While they were still talking with him, the king eunuchs arrived and hurried Haman away to the banquet Esther had prepared. We are in part number three. Ambayo, the power of prayers. The power of prayers. Tell your neighbor the power of prayers. Kufu za maumpi. Jumapiri rio pita, tulisungumusa part number one. Tuliona dadawetu Esther, akiweza kuwekua kuwa queen. Na tuliona molidekai, vire vire, akiweza kupandishwa kuwa mulinda lango. Licha ya ulevi ya mfalme. Na tukaona kumbe maombi tukiomba, itabalirisha hali. Na leo asubuhi tukaona ya kwamba mambo ilibadilika. Tukaona esteli, mambo wa yahudi walipuambiwa ya kwamba watawawa. Mambo ikawa magumu zaidi. Na tukasema after somebody is lifted high, kuna mambo mengine huanga inafuata mtu. Na tukasema hivi, liche ya mambo jinsi ya livio, either mazuri ama mabaya, usiache kuwaba mungu. Kwa sababu maombi ni mpaka mungu akukujie. Kanisa, lazima tuombe, paka mungu alete mabadiriko. Pwana tukuzo sana. Esteri sasa mefanyika kuwa queen. Na moridekai sasa ni mulinga mulinda mulango. When the decree was already announced. Mabu kukawa na kilio zaidi. Katika kule. Watu wa yahudi wakalia. Lakini wakajua ya kwamba. Ni guvu za maombi. Sitakaro badilisha hali. Kanisa ni waambie. Ni guvu za maombi. Huwa sinabadilisha hali. Ni guvu za maombi. Sinafanya mambo. Ya toke kuwa mazito yawe mepesi. Ni nguvu za maombi sinabadilisha hali zetu. Wengine hatu kuwa tunajua kuomba. Lakini tulipo singatia kuomba na kuomba. Siku ya leo 
tunapogerea katika kufu za maombi maombi inabadilisha hali sijui ni hicho gani ambacho napitia siku ya leo sijui ni gani hayo mambo ambayo umeweza kuelezewa katika kuomba kanisa mambo itabadilika leo nataka niwapeleke kiwango kingine after morning hours tulisema come out out of your comfort zone toka katika mahali pako pa kustareheka amini maombi mara tena asubuhi tukasema ni mara ngapi we umejaribu jaribu mara tena kupitia maombi na tukasema vile vile maombi ni kipimo kwetu it is a test of our lives not only to us but as well to our family members kuna watu wengine wetu wanaangamia kuna watu wengine wetu wanateseka ili wali sisi tuko kanisani na Mungu anatuabia ni jitani mara tena muone kana kwamba sitawaitika kwa oh, tukiingia wiki ya tatu tutamuita Bwana tukiingia wiki ya tatu tutaamini nguvu za Bwana tukiingia wiki ya mwisho naamini ya kwamba bingu itafunguka kwa niamba yetu threaten your body threaten your life by daily to call God again and today tunaona hivi Esteli alipoomba jambo hilo Mungu akaamua kulifanya kazi when we pray there are things God will be disturbed on our behalf na tunaona hivi siku ya tatu ilipofika tunaona Esther akifaa nguo ya kiukuhani na anaingia katika the inner court of the palace na kumbuka hapa mtu yeyote angejipeleka katika mahali palipo ndani pa mfalme huyo mtu kama hajaitwa na mfalme kile ambacho kilikuwa kimfuate jameni ni kifo maombi baada ya maombi Bwana alibadilisha sio kifo tena mfalme alinyoosha haleluya kijiti chake cha nini cha gorod na esther akaiunguza praise the name of jesus haleluya prayer attracts favor haleluya maombi jabora kwanza ina attract kibali maombi ina attract kibali mambo ni hiyo unaweza fanya lakini hauna kibali when god comes down when we pray when we intercede when we deal again biblia nasema hivi kibali cha bwana huwa kinashuka after prayers praise the name of jesus after three prayers they and i the favor of the lord came down i pray this we this month in the name of jesus may the favor of the lord come down to your life najua kuna watu wamejinyima wiki ya kwanza najua kuna wengine wamejinyima wiki ya pili na tukiingia wiki ya tatu kuna mambo mwaka huu haikuwa kushukia wewe haikuwa wewe uifurahie haikuwa ikuwa pamoja na wewe but after this prayer there are things that will attract our life may the favor of the lord attract you i am saying may the favor of the lord attract you praise the name of jesus fun me akapeda esteri akasahau ni huyu ni kujileta amejileta sio kuitwa praise the name of jesus ni kuelehete ni hadi mwetete na ilikuwa mtu akijileta uwawe lakini baada ya maombi Esther akajipeleka mahali tulisoma asubuhi alisema hivi kama ni kukufa ni kufe lakini kama ni kuishi nifanya nini niaishi ete kila wendo ni ngai wewe deke praise the name of jesus bwana anapenda watu wake zaidi bwana anapenda wanaume zaidi bwana anapenda wamama zaidi Bwana anapenda washirika zaidi. Shinda yetu kama washirika na shida yetu kama wachungaji, twedwa ni gai totiendekaga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alinyosha kijiti chake. Haleluya. Akamwambia dada yangu, my queen, ni nini kinakusumbua? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Si Mungu afanye hivyo maisha ni mwako. Niki kila kudhubura. When the fever comes down ina disorganize mambo inafanya mambo yatendeke kinyume na vile inatetekaga huyu dada alikuwa sasa malizwe palme Mungu akamsubua akamuliza queen ulea dagu ikiria tia mudenya wao mothi ndeda kuikulia ulea dagai 
aguikiria atia unataka Mungu akufanyie nini Bwana Yesu asifiwe Esther approached and touched the tip of the scepter alinyosha mkono wake na akagusa kijiti cha mfalme praise the name of Jesus na mfalme akaachilia maneno itoke kinywani mwake akamuuliza Esther hata kama ni nusu ya mfalme wangu nitakupatia do you see the favor of prayers praise the name of Jesus i am challenging the church may you wrap prayers may you dare again i know you have not prayed for 20 minutes najua kwamba hujawahi funga najua kwamba unafunga unasikia ja na unasema jameni hayo iweze kushughulikiwa na wengine ukiomba kibali cha bwana kile ambacho hujawahi kamata maisha mwako itaweza kushuka kwa ajili yako bwana yesu atukuzwe esther akajua i have received the favor from the king may you receive the favor from the king this year in the name of jesus may you receive the favor from your master this year in the name of jesus but remember it's after prayers after prayers hallelujah favor prayers attract favor the second point is prayers activate wisdom prayers activate wisdom listen to me church some of us if we rely on our education if we lie with where we have come from i'm telling you for sure there are offices that we cannot enter kama ni kuangalia masomo yako kama ni kuangalia sura yako kama ni kuangalia matamushi unayoongea kuna ofisi zingine hauwezi ukaingia lakini maombi inafanya hivi huanga inasawishi watu wanakuwa na hekima zaidi ya jinsi ulivyosaliwa zaidi ya jinsi unasoma katika vitabu haleluya maombi inapatia watu hekima unakuta unafanya mambo ambayo hauwezi ukafanya na masomo yako prayer activate wisdom listen to me this is now esther esther alipoambiwa that what do you want me as a king to do to you esther hakueda point hivi aliyejua ya kwamba jambo la kwanza nitakuwa na kai wisdom and remember hii wisdom aliombewa na aniko yake mulidekai aliambia mfalme hivi mimi mfalme nimeandaa chakula kizuri haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe nimeandaa mchuzi mzuri nataka wewe na mf- na nani na kiongozi hamani mje mkule haleluya niwaambie kanisa mtu aliye na jaa hawezi akakusikiza ni kama uende kwa mtu ambaye ako na jaa haleluya na unamwambia nitakuombea maombi hawezi fanya kazi hawezi kayasikia risha mtu haleluya unakumbuka wakati ni waelisha maelaija alipoenda akakuta mtu ambaye ameachwa na ma- maadui walikuwa wamezimia Biblia nasema ya kwamba aliwapatia chakula walipokula walianza sasa kuongea na tunaona hivi fanme sasa amesikia mwito wa dada yetu Esther praise the name of Jesus na akamwambia hivi nimeandaa karama nimeandaa karamu jooni mkule pamoja na amani praise the name of the Lord Don't attack the problem head on. May you have wisdom. We are surrounded by people who can be our destiny helper. We are surrounded by people who are our destiny praise the name of destiny keeper. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu inua mkono wako sema Bwana. Achilia destiny helper to my life this year in the name of Jesus wacha kuropokwa haleluya andaa kile ambacho nataka kusikia dada ndugu yetu huyu queen huyu mfalme king aliposikia ameitwa kalamu na queen alisema hii lazima niende na kube Esther alikuwa na hekima praise the name of Jesus wa baada ya kukura ili kwamba aachilie 
kile ambacho anataka falme asikie praise the name of jesus wewe ambao umesungukwa na watu na ukiangalia watu hawa mungu amekusungumzia hawa ndio destiny hero wako hawa ndio destiny watakao kuwa daraja ufuke kiwango kile kingine may you have a wisdom in the name of jesus may you have a wisdom wacha kuropokwa maneno haleluya kuwa na hekima na katika kuwa na hekima utakuta bwana ametenda jambo ambalo litafurahisha moyo wako prayer activate wisdom prayer activate wisdom can you greet your neighbor mwambie neighbor prayers activate wisdom number three about prayers prayer makes god to act on his will not on our will prayer makes god to act on his will not on our will hallelujah it makes god to be incorporated in our plans prayers many times church we pray god do this to me 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 according to our will but when you pray seriously and you invoke the holy spirit of god in your life listen to me church prayer makes god to align his will to your will you can go wrong on your own but you cannot go wrong when god is on you praise the name of jesus hallelujah kajia ka mungu hakananga shangwe kabarabara ka mungu hakananga shangwe kagari ka bwana hakananga shangwe za zingine lakini matokezeo ya barabara ya bwana ya gari ya bwana ni ushindi na furaha na neema kubwa bwana yesu asifiwe when somebody is praying actually unaweza sema huyu ene kikradhu bora muru wa idhabitu huyo ni nini kinasungua ndugu yangu huyu wengine wako starehe wengine wako kwa vinu, kwa, kwa nuninga zao but listen to me prayer makes god to act on his will not on our will haman had suggested alikuwa na suggestion ya mke wake this is what you need to do tengeneza mti vizuri thodeka mti mwega haleluya kama ndoka katuli kanie nako bwana yesu atukuzwe haleluya biko ga wenzako mwambie kuna watu wamesema nitengenezewe miti hili kichwa yangu ikatwe iwekwe pale haleluya angalia watu wakikuazia mabaya mungu anakuazia mazuri praise the name of jesus mke wake huyu hamani anaitwa serechi alisangestia mume wake hamani ya kwamba mlidekai akatwe kichwa chake na kichwa chake kiwekwe pale listen to me child who is our god in heaven nasema mambo yote ambayo imenenwa kinyume na wewe mambo yote imepangwa kinyume na maisha yako kupitia maombi yanze kubomoka moja kwa moja yote ambayo watu wanakuazia yote ambayo watu wanakupangia yote ambayo inaleta huzuni maisha ni mwako yanze kubomoka kupitia nguvu za maombi kanisa tutasoka bere wewe utasoka bere doa yako itasoka bere maisha yako itasoka bere watoto wako watasoka bere bwana taagusha yote ambayo inapagiwa kuleta huzuni maisha ni mwetu aibu ilikuwa ipatikane lakini Mungu ni nani hinya wa mahoya haleluya hinya wa mahoya i am challenging people today don't hear so much about people hear about what heaven is speaking to your life prayer arrives haleluya the will of god to our lives not according to the will of our hearts Hamani nenda kushonoria duka ta yanga hii Hamani na tuko na wahamani wengi sana Haleluya wewe uko na hamani wengi Yaani unabarikiwa watu wanakuchukia tu hivyo 
Yaani umeokoka. Watu wanakuchukia tu hivyo. Praise the name of Jesus. Yaani wewe unamtumikia Mungu na kusikia kelele kelele kelele. Unashangaa? Kwani kunaendaje? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When people are speaking too much, may you be busy speaking to God. Hallelujah. Ite kila kwara ni na ngai. Piga tu mipango twako. Wacha tu mipango twako. Abe mwanzako wacha tu mipango twako. Ndumwele tatika tu mipango twako. Tarita kwa ngai. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tamwele tarita kwa ngai. Ndio <laughs> maombi ni kuwa mjinga. Hallelujah. Yaani unanena mambo makubwa zaidi ya masomo yako. Unanena mambo makubwa yamepita kazi yako. Ate nie 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 negwa kama huduma nene ni. Yaani wewe ata jameni atahau hata kidogo hujaoja lakini unanena mambo makubwa. Praise the name of Jesus. Dear great things in your life. Can you bless your neighbor mwambie I challenge you this year in the name of Jesus. Can you dear great things? Praise the name of Jesus. They are great in church. Our God is not a God of retro grace. Our God is a God of great grace. Praise the name of Jesus. He have never tested you his goodness. May you now test the great grace of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Through prayers we shall test the great grace of our Father. Through prayers you shall test the great grace of that business. Through prayers you shall test the great grace of his anointing. Dare to pray. Pray one more time. Pray one more time. Another one is prayer makes the book of Chronicles to be recorded mahoya matomaga maudo mega waneka maririkano mahoya the book of chronicles maybe you have forgotten you did something maybe you forgotten you did something to a certain church maybe you forgotten you did something to a certain man maybe you forgotten you did something in the church praise the name of jesus when you pray mafuku makiririkano nimetagio bemo zako vitambu za kukubuka zitisho kwa ajili yako akilia mudo sio kama liganete mwire mafuku makiririkano kitabu ya ukubusho itishwe haleluya hapo juu chapter number 5 kimalizia serachi Hali advice mume wake. Kamudoka kabe mutini. Kamutwaka kaweko kwa muti. Kamesubua ufalme wako sana. Kamesubua. Bibili nasema hivi, maombi nayo yamekamatwa. Mungu anasungumzia mfalme. Aswera oros oros seses. Anamwambia hivi. Usiku akakosa usingizi. Alikosa usingizi. Unaona mfalme akikosa usingizi kwa ajili yako. Alikosa usingizi. Alikosa kurara. Maombi ilisubua ye. Huyu anapanga kumaliza huyu. Muke wake ameweka point nyingine. Anasumbua mfalme wako. Na Mungu kupitia maombi anasumbua moyo wa mfalme. Biblia inasema hivi chapter number 6. Because there John while they were still talking with him the king you no chapter number 6 verse number 1 chapter number 6 verse number 1 kindly quickly chapter number 6 verse number 1 hallelujah that night the king could not sleep so he ordered the book of chronicles the record of his name to be brought in and lead huh, to him mafuku maleho it was found recorded there that Mordecai had exposed Bigidana and Teresh, two of the king's officers who were guarded the doorway, who had conspired to assassinate this king. Praise the name of Jesus. When you pray, when you dare to seek the Lord, 
When you just deny yourself, breakfast and lunch, just to go to the Father, this is what the prayer does. It makes the book of remembrance to be brought to the higher king, the king in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wako hapa, walitenda mambo, wakasahau. Kuna watu wako hapa, walifanya jabo mzuri zaidi. Maybe watu ata wakubuki. Maybe jameni ata jamienu haikubuki. Yawesekana mchungaji haikubuki. Ni kuambia siku ya leo. Baba wa binguni huanga anakubuka matendo yote mazuri mwaminio anaofanya. Na ninaomba siku ya leo kupitia nguvu za maombi wewe ukubukwe jambo mzuri ambao ulifanya. Na ukikubukwa Bwana atakubali aibu yote na ifika mwisho. Natangaza kwa jina la Yesu. Maaibu yote ifika mwisho. Naomba kudhihakiwa kwote kwa aina yoyote kufika mwisho. Naomba uchungu wote ambao na kwa dama na ukavika mwisho. Naomba kirio chote cha kila aina na kifika mwisho kwa jina la Yesu. Prayer makes the book of remembrance to be brought. Praise the name of Jesus. Habu ni talimia mwenzako muambie. Niki wene kodha makine wa angai. Habu ni ulizie. Niki wane ka kodha makine wa angai. Bwana Yesu atukuzi. Nini ni shaifanya katika ufalume huu? Watu wanawesa sahau. Watu wali sahau. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I told you one day church. One day. And I gave you this an example just the other day. We went one day to my Mahio for a body of a certain certain family. Natukiwa kule mama furani akaja katika hiyo bali. Tulipozikana kuna ile kadheri, kadheri kana kurangu katika mazishi. Gatheri kare kare yago. Mama furani akaja mahali. Akachukua gatheri gake. Akaanza kukura. Mama alikuwa na shida ya ulimi. Na mama angekua hali ya kukura. Kare gatheri. Ningona jinsi ya natese kamuno. Praise the name of Jesus. Na mimi jameni bena na nyuma nilikuwa na elfu moja. Na niluambia hii elfu moja. Tulikuwa nga natabia. Sisi na kina baba kido tukia na mahali na zima tukule kanyama. Atulasema weo tatuwa hiki, weo tatuwa hiki na kina arubat. Tulikuwa nga na hiyo tabia. Haleluya. Sasa mii nilikuwa na elfu moja peke yake. Na mungu waka nisungumzia kaniyabia. Toa iye elfu moja ukonayo upatia huyu mama. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Kama mtu ni kakata. Kasema wewe kwani unavuna mahali ambapo huku panda. Na abia mungu hiu. Kwani unavuna mahali. Mahali kupanda. The only one, a thousand. Tulimaliza, wengine tukaondoka. Maimayo ni kumahali kukofrati hibi. Tulipoenda kilomita kama tano. Haleluya, mahali tulikuwa tumeacha magali. Praise the name of Jesus. Mungu wakamua kuwaka saidi dan yangu. You know when the God is burning inside you. We all know when God is burning inside us. God decided to burn. Kuchoma maisha yangu No ginyone ya nde Wanaesa sifimi Nikaenda nikaingisha mugu wangu kwa gali Ayaya akawaka saidi Nilijikuta na kimbia Nitafute huyo mama Nilipoenda mahali ya likuwa Nikakuta mama hameondoka Kuangalia tu hivu tababu ni frat Mama hako kule Nika mkibiria Nika mpatia elfu moja Praise the name of Jesus Hallelujah sasa ni karudi. Wale wengine walikuwa sasa wamegoja kufika kwao, wamenikerelesha kwa ni uko wapi. Lakini ilikuwa ni biyashara yangu na mungu ni itimize. Praise the name of Jesus. Kuenda kukura nyama. Wengine wakambio, wee reta, wee reta, nakuta sina. Wewe ni kujifanya, unajifanya wewe. Praise the name of the Lord. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Wana Yesu atukuzwe. Nika wambia birashaka nilikuwa nayo. Nimepatia mungu, mama, baada ya mungu kunisungumzia. Praise the name of the Lord. Hapo, hapo, it was my dawn, even today. It was my dawn, even today. 
Praise the name of Jesus. May the book of remembrance be brought for you to be remembered. Nasema watu wa suburiwe mahali kwa tendo furani ambacho ulifanya. Daoya ato madhuburuo kaya madhubure ni kiodo kiega we kire thini wanyo bayagai. Hallelujah! Wale wamekamata baraka zako wa suburiwe Mbwana kwa sababu ya tenda furani ulifanya dani ya nyumba ya Bwana. Huu ni mwaka wa kukubukwa, huu ni mwaka wa kuinuliwa, huu ni mwaka wa kuberekwa kiwango kingine. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing has been done for him. Farme akasema hivi. Habitu ada 3B, chapter verse number 3. Eh? 63. Biblia nasema ya kwamba What honor and recognition has Mordecai received for this? Wewe watu mire, do imenya kale. Nini nikimefanywa huyo mtu? Biblia nasema the king asked, nothing has been done for him. His attendants answered. Let's go there, down. The Bible says the king said, who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court, huh? Of the palace to speak to the king about impaling But the guy in the poro he had set up. In other words, skiza, kui mwana umetu, alie kusundia kumaliza mwani the guy, diyo mungu alitumia, ha, diyo mungu alitumia, diyo mungu alitumia, wana tukuzwe, kubebesa na kufalisha, magua ya ukuhani, mwani the guy, nasema kwa jina la Yesu wale ambao walitumika kupanga jama ya kukumaliza hao 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 nai hao 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 Bwana watumie kukuinua na kukubebesha kama vile Bwana atakavyoamuru katika jina la Yesu sisi ni wa Bwana na kunazo nguvu katika maombi kuna hinyadhini wa mahoya kunazo nguvu wapendwa katika maombi Bwana tukuzwe. Bwana tukuzwe. Hamani dio huyo tu. Halibebesha Mordecai. Anamshuguza muji. Bwana tukuzwe. Bwana ni de Mordecai getea. Wewe gua wega we. Eh gua wega we. Wewe ni baba mzuri wewe. Yaani anamubeba na kinyongo. Wewe ukiwa umeinama. I declare wale ambao wanakukusudia mabaya. Mago kuwe makeda na matekweda. Mago kuwe makeda na matekweda. He, he, wakubebe wapende wasipende wakubebe wakupende wapende wasi kupende wakubebe haleluya haleluya prayer makes the book of chronicles to be remembered prayers when I ask you may you come this week see what God you do to your life May the book of remembers of chronicle be activated to your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Mimi nazungumzia watu wamechoka. Wanasema mimi sijui nilikuwa nafanya. Hallelujah. Wewe ni unasababisha vitabu sisiletwe. Ni wewe wewe ni wororoga. Kumbe mwenzako wewe ni wororoga. Sikumwambie wewe ndio na jiroga. Uturawi roga yetaginyali. Utabaki ukiwa umejiroga mpaka lini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maombi imeinuliwa, vitabu sikaitishwa. Jamaa alikuwa amepanga ni haribike. I was sharing one of these days with one my brother here. God Leonard. Halipitia dahero. Nilimuuliza, na hiyo sijawahi jua. Sijui miaka sita ndani kamiti. Huyu huyu tu huyu miaka sita kamiti alikuwa amepangiwa jama ndugu yangu huyu <laughs> bwana Yesu asifiwe wale watu walimpangia jama wale walimpangia jama waliwekwa ndani bwana Yesu asifiwe jamaa ndio huyu haleluya miaka sita kamiti oh my god let me finish prayer does not leave somebody without mahoya matitomaga mudu atari kidu maombi hayachi mtu bila kitu maombi what should be done for the man the king delight 
verse number 6 chapter 6 verse number 6 John chapter 6 verse number 6 the Bible says when Haman entered the king ask him what should be done for the man the king delight to honor now Haman thought to himself who is there that the king would rather honor than me hey. hallelujah Jamana jidhania ni yeye. Ni yeye. Hebu fanya hivi. Hebu ina mkono wako sema kuna watu wanadhania ni wao. Kube sio wao. Jamana sema sababu Mungu alimfanya kuua. Amemuinua kuliko viongozi wale wengine. Anadhania ni mimi. Praise the name of Jesus. Twende hapa mbele John. So he answered to the king for the man the king delight to honor. Let's go quickly. Have them bring a royal robe the king has worn. And a horse the king has ridden. One with a royal crest priest on his hand. Let's go there down. Then let the robe and the horse be entrusted to the one of the king's most noble princes. Let them love the man the king delight to honor. And lead him on the horse. Through the city streets, hallelujah, proclaiming before him, this is, this is what is done to the man the king delights to honor. Whom do you think this man is? Whom do you think this man is? Whom do you think this man is? The man who treasured the power of prayers. The man who fasted. The man who denied Food to seek the face of God. The man who never leave his God. The man who cannot abandon his God no matter the situation. His name is Mordecai. The Bible says this man was honored. Pwana Yesu asifiwe. Bibide na sema ya kwaba alimsunguza. Hallelujah. Jama alikuwa mempangia maovu. Sasa wana musunguza akiwa mebebwa na gari ya kifalme. Si Mungu akubali usunguzi wa toro mzima na gari ya kifalme. Ndaiko ugaimu wa koyo atume ado mekirwa maudu mara maiguaga na ado wake. Wale unasikianga na watu wengine huu ni mwaka wako. Simama mahali ulipo. Huu ni mwaka wetu. Huu ni mwaka wetu. Huu ni mwaka wetu tototikurekia. Huu ni mwaka wetu. Na niwaambie kanisa Hallelujah. Mwaka mpya hauletagi mambo mapya. Ni Mungu anasababisha mambo mapya itokee kwa mwaka mpya. Hallelujah. Mwaka mpya haukuji na shangwe niliwaambia hivyo. Lakini ni Mungu anasababisha mambo mapya ya ajabu itendeke kwa yule ambaye anataka kumtukuza. Inua mkono wako baba. Kila mmoja, abia Mungu, huu ni mwaka wangu. Na nitasukuma maombi. Nini goti de kama hoya? Nini goti de kama hoya? Abia Mungu Bwana, nipe neema